Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about application of determinants and matrices. Okay. So we will discuss about some solution of let me write it solution of system of linear equations using inverse of a matrix so as we have discussed how to find out the inverse of a matrix in our previous lecture then now we will see the application of this in today's lecture okay so let us say we are given three equation a1x plus b1y plus c1z equal d1 similarly a2x plus b2y plus c2z equal given d2 a3x b3y plus c3z equal d3 okay so the determinant a will become like a1 b1 c1 a2 a3 b2 c2 b3 c3 okay and x is like x y z and b is like d1 d2 d3 so we have converted the equations in matrix form the system of equation now can be written as a times x is equals b okay so if a is a non singular matrix student non singular means the mode of a is not equals to 0 then in its inverse exist hence as we need to find out the x y z so we can solve this using a x equal b that is given to us so what we will do is we will multiply both side by a inverse this is a inverse b and hence we are coming out to be a inverse into a into x is a inverse b which is also equals to i into x a inverse b so from here x is coming out to be a inverse b okay as we all know the value of b means d1 d2 d3 and taking the a inverse we can find out the value of x okay students now let's discuss one more case in case student in case mode a is equals 0 means it is a singular matrix in this case we can calculate we calculate a joint of a into b if a joint of a to b is non zero if adjoint of a into b is not equal to 0 o being 0 matrix or you can say this is not equal to 0 matrix then also solution does not exist and the system of the equation and the system of equation is 
called inconsistent okay so these are the two cases students that will be arises okay and if a joint a into b is o or you can say zero matrix then system may be either consistent or inconsistent according as the system have either have either infinitely many solution or no solution infinitely many solution will be in that case when the two lines or three lines go inside each other and the no solution when the lines are parallel to each other okay so students in the next lecture we will discuss some questions based on application of matrix and determinants so stay tuned for that lecture thank you happy learning